will show you how to create the ventilation system for toilet in the office area. Uh, let's first consider the category of this uh, toilet. This is considered as a pub public use because uh, any of these occupants may use the toilet. A private toilet is one that is used for residential or hotel rooms which is considered to be used by the occupants inside the room or residence. So people will be coming in and out, so it's a public toilet. Why is it, why am I emphasizing it? Because once we select the ventilation uh, capacity, there are two methods of doing it. First is use probably the ASHRAE standards, which I have here. Here there is the ventilation access exhaust ventilation requirements. Here under, under the ASHRAE standard. 62.2 uh, the minimum exhaust rate or occupancy category of toilet probably is about 50 to 70 CFM per unit. The unit means the numbers of water closet and urinals in the toilet room. So you have to count the urinals and water closet. So this is an ASHRAE standard. You don't have to calculate by volume and purchase. Another method is using the ventilator uh, air change method. Typically, the room will be ventilated on the number of air changes per hour of the room. It means the whole volume airflow of that room will have eight air changes. It will replace the air eight times in one hour. So that is air change per hour. So here I have a sample calculation. The toilet area is about 15 square meter, the my toilet, and the female toilet is about 15 square meter. Volume height is about 3 meters, volume is 45. Air change per hour, or well, this one is air change per hour, is 8. You multiply volume times 8, and we come up with cubic meter per hour. And typically, we have the airflow at liters per second. So it's about 100 liters per second for this guy, male and female toilet, and another 67 for the janitor. So it's, in total, it's about 267 liters per second. Comparing the ventilation calculation method against the ASHRAE standard, in the main toilet, we have five, uh, two water closets and three urinals. So each urinal will, uh, each unit of water closet and urinal is about 33 liters per second, or 70 cfm per unit. Here we multiply by 33 is 165, and the female toilet will require less because it has less uh, fixtures or plumbing fixtures inside the room. So this. Male toilet is in capacity is higher than the female toilet based on this ASHRAE standard. So typically, I will follow this ASHRAE standard. Uh, the air change method is used if you have any requirements, special clients requirements where they need a higher air exhaust airflow. You can change this to 10 air chains to make the exhaust airflow higher. So, but now we're going to use these figures, 165, uh, 70, let's close it to 70 for the female toilet and for the janitor, we have it at 70 also. So, let's design the system using this uh, flow rate. We have to go back to reader and save. Here, we're going to erase the male and female toilet first. So we can clear the area. Now we're going to load that uh, exhaust gear. Let's load the family. Here we have the exhaust gear. Uh, let's save it. Go to system and air terminal. Here we have the exhaust air gear. Let's edit it. Duplicate and set it to 200 by 200. We only need a 200 by 200 exhaust gear. Okay. Now we're going to insert one drill on this on top of this. Typically, it will be uh, 
So let's position this to let's undo this and let's set the egg grill and let's have the level at about 3 meter as the ceiling height is 3 meter. And the airflow we can set it to 165 divided by 5 is about 35 or 165 let's place the grid and set it at 3,300 meter 3.3 or 3 meter elevation and the flow rate will be 40 meters per second we have four numbers place it in the four location one in between the ear nuts here we're going to place also 4 pillars for the female toilet and here we're going to place one which is for the toilet, uh, janitor ventilation and let's set it to 65 as the requirement is 65 liters per second so now that we have set all the air capacities and size we need to insert the ventilation fan Let's use the mix line, mix in line, mix flow in line fan, which is typically used in the standard product. Uh, let's go to system, click on it out, and make sure the elevation will be higher than the ceiling level, which is about 3 feet. And we're going to place the fan such as that we can discharge the air on this side. Let's say uh, if this is and then outside and this is 300 okay so this is him is exhaust air so let's connect the duct works and in order to do that we need to activate the duct